Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of that celebrity interview. The mayor of Pigeon Forge, which is in East Tennessee, David Weir. He's here to tell you his place is going to be the favorite family vacation destination. David, let's make that happen for them. Tell us about a destination that is supposed to be stupendous and superb and all of those things where 10 million people come each year. Yes, ma'am. Pigeon Forge is a, is a unique area in East Tennessee. It's a great little town that hosts over 11 million people every year. Um, we're right next to the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, the most visited national park in the country. Uh, and we're blessed to be here and be geographically located here in East Tennessee and in the eastern half of the country where so many people can drive here. So we're really proud of what, what we have to offer, all the diverse attractions and retail and uh, retail opportunities and uh, lodging opportunities. We're just really proud of who we are and how many people we visit uh, that visit us. Well, you guys have some interesting uh, places to visit. Tell me about this Paula Deen's Lumberjack thing. What is that? Yeah, so Lumberjacks are here in Pigeon Forge. They, they throw axes, they do sawing, they do speed climbing, <laughs> they do all kinds of Lumberjack stuff that I don't want to try. But uh, it's a really good, really good theater, really good show. Uh, it's, it's thrilling, it's high energy, and it brings, uh, brings a lot of energy to the crowd. It's really, really neat to get immersed into that. Well, my general manager here at the station, Mountain Monster, that's his favorite thing. You guys have that also. That's right, a 200-foot tower. And I'll be honest with you, when I saw this on a YouTube video, uh, it made my palms sweaty. I've not tried it. Don't know if I will, but it looks like a really high thrill ride, 200 foot above uh, Pigeon Forge. You can overlook Pigeon Forge in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. And then you get to take a swing on the 200 foot mountain uh, monster <laughs> uh, tower. So uh, it sounds like a great time. I'm going to leave that to the to the young at heart and the ones who the thrill seekers. Yeah, you and I. Those are two things that we'll just vicariously watch other people <laughs> do. How about that? That one? sounds good. And there's one more now. We probably could do the Titanic Museum attraction. Yeah, the Titanic Museum attraction. What a unique and really cool museum and attraction. It, they always bring in new exhibits for people to kind of to understand what happened that fateful night on the Titanic. And it's such a wonderful historic museum. Uh, a lot of interesting facts that most people don't know, maybe not have seen in the movie, but things that uh, happened in real life. And this year they're going to bring life jackets. There's seven of the, um, there's only 12 in the world and they're going to have seven of those here on exhibit. And it, it's, it's just a really unique, uh, unique opportunity to, for, for folks to kind of get immersed into that history. Well, you guys have a little bit of something for everyone in the town. How's the food? Oh, the food is great. So we, we of course have all the, the, the national chains, but we also have some mom and pops here that that will keep you coming back for more. We've got great food here in East Tennessee and nowhere better than, than here in Pigeon Forge. We've always got unique opportunities for people to try new things, some mountain foods, you know, some, some mountain country and uh, hillbilly food and some, some uh, foods for just about anybody. I'm looking at the Facebook because they're watching us also on Facebook. Anyone wants to know if they have any moonshine there? Oh, well, I'm serious. I would say we probably have as much moonshine as people would want here. This is where moonshine really started <laughs> here in East Tennessee. In the hills of East Tennessee, the stills that you've heard about in the, uh, throughout history, they're in Prohibition. That's what uh, a lot of folks made their living on. And now uh, moonshine is legal in Tennessee. We've got Old Smoky. We've got Sugarlands. We've got Thunder Road. We've got all kinds of moonshine distilleries, even a, even a moonshine tour. So we've got, uh, we do have some moonshine for folks who want to enjoy. That's cool because, you know, in your area or in that area, that's where uh, NASCAR started, people running moonshine, and they decided to make it legal. You know but your you history. You do have something for everyone. Uh, we sure do. We sure do. We've got uh, family fun, and we've got it all the way uh, across the spectrum, something for everybody and something for all ages. If they're planning their vacation, uh, Mayor, where, how, do, how do they get there? What do they do? Well, the best place to go is MyPigeonForge.com. That's MyPigeonForge.com, and it's got all the information you need to plan your vacation here in Pigeon Forge. All right, you've got your invitation personally from Pigeon Forge Mayor David Ware, so you got to go. So, Mayor, thank you so much for being my guest on the Belder Beebe Show. This has been so great getting the inside details about the Great Smoky Mountains and Pigeon Forge. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is 
my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.